to make this very snappy, but the good thing is I can do that because I was going to show you three films. I'm just going to show you two. Um, and the other good thing is I basically just got one thing that I'm going to say. And, and the one thing that I want to share with you um, in, in around about 10 minutes is just this simple idea. The person, the model that I find the most inspiring as, as a Christian, as a teacher, is Jesus Christ himself. And Jesus, when he was um, confronted with some questions, some challenging things, this is what he said. He told stories, but he also answered with questions. When the religious authorities came to him and said, is it lawful, and this is just one example, to heal on the Sabbath, instead of giving them an answer, he asked this question. If any of you had a sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, would you leave it there or lift it out? My point is, he made them think for themselves. What I'm going to do is give you a little exercise. You've heard a lot of people talking this afternoon and there's been some great things I've been taking notes. I'm going to show you two films. I think we've got time for two. I want you to have a look at these films and at the end of each film, I want you to make, just take just 30 seconds to write down as many questions as you can about how that might prompt students to think for themselves. So not what point you want to make, not what lesson you're going to get out of it, but what you hope students will think having watched this that's relevant to what you're teaching. This first one might be a bit loud, I better get the volume ready. Now you, some of you might have seen this, but I think it illustrates the point. Transatlantic vacations I tried dancing through old age And on into death with a title Marlon Brando across my chest I tried reading The Marriage of Heaven and Hell But I never could understand it too well I tried transcending criticism But songs sound better in your head Than when you're done with them Rock and roll is the only thing That makes me feel good Um, just take 30 seconds to think for yourselves what questions you might ask after that. Obviously that's not suitable for all age levels and all contexts, but for some groups it really is. 
anyone like to share a question or two that they thought might be helpful? What made you feel uncomfortable? What made you feel uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why Do you know what you're seeking? How do you get satisfaction in life? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. What did the filmmakers miss in your own life in terms of asking them to kill yourself? What did the filmmakers miss in your own life in terms of what you're looking for? Why is it important to feel good? Why is it important to feel good? Yeah. There's an episode of Doc Martin on the weekend, I think, if anyone watches that. <laughs> Why do we have to be happy? Okay, I'll leave you with that one. Um, just one more, and I think we've just got time to do this and, and one more thing I'm going to get you to do. This is a lot quieter, and what I like about this one, um, we had a, a philosophy screening recently, and um, one of the philosophy teachers said that he normally uses the matrix for his classes, but um, the philosophy collection that we had, he said, we're better stimulus material because the matrix series, um, the philosophy gets lost in the effects, and I think that can happen. Um, we collect short films that are independent and tend to be a lot, on, uh, sometimes a lot simpler anyway and get to the, the core of an issue. Have a look at this. This was made as a 24-hour film project, but I think it goes to some pretty deep stuff. Tämä voi kuulostaa rennolta. Sullahan vaan istutaan. Mutta joskus se on suoraan sanottuna täyttä... On ollut eläkkeellä tapaturmasta lähtien. Silloin mulla oli eka kertaa aikaa itselleni. Lähdi kiertämään maailmaa. Se oli loistavaa aikaa se. Se on pelottava ajatus, että joskus on edessä se aika, jolloin kukaan ei sua tarvitse, eikä kukaan halua istua alas. In just 30 seconds, write down some questions that you think you could ask at the end of that film. thoughts on those ones but one of the criticisms of mass education over the last few decades and, and indeed the rise of home, the homeschooling movement is the numbers of students that there are in class per ratio to the teacher 
And but what I think is the greatest strength of schools that everyone's involved in is that you get people together and you have the opportunity not just to ask the questions but then to follow where the students are at and to discuss big issues. So students are learning from each other, as so many of you have said, about the things that make them tick and what's important. And that's such a great vehicle to go further into the direction you're going. It's such a cliche, but it's so true that um, as teachers today, we're much, much less effective today as the sage on the stage and so much more effective as the guide on the side. And so our role as discussion facilitators, people who can ask the right questions, is the way that we should be teaching. Now, unlike um, I think all the other presenters today, I'm not attached to a school, so um, all of our funding comes from school membership. So just to finish off with, um, I'm just going to hand out these. And on one of these is a number, and I'm going to read out a number. And if you're not school's not already a member, then you're going to um, get a free membership. So, and that will just about wrap me up. Um, there's also a list of I've, I've picked um, two really short films. So the shortest film we have, I think, is a minute twenty. Um, the longest film we have, we've specialised in short. So the longest films we have. Um, are 11 minutes. All the films come with notes, so they're kind of the cheap notes for, they have questions on them, but you can add, obviously, to those questions. Um, to fill out, even if you just want the list of some popular films that we've had um, in RE and chapel services and all that sort of stuff, I can, I can email it to you if you're not interested in the membership, but we just love your support and feedback, and thanks for listening. Now, who, has everyone got a sheet? <laughs> number, who has um, number 16? Oh, there, you go. Well, there you go. So Kerry gets an upgrade because we're already members. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.